Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series where we are trying to show you create a different number of toolpath on creating that one exercise. This is over part 6th and in the previously part 5 we create a different number of thoughts, different number of things we already explained you. If you are new and directly watching this video directly, I would like to suggest you first starting to watch exercise number 8th part 1 where we show you the machine simulation for that one component in exercise number 6 part 2 we show you how to make a job setup on the right when we need uh, make this initially stock is the right hand side after that we create a, some turning as well as the milling toolpath on the right hand spindle after that we create a, some turning toolpath on the left hand spindle as well as we show you that how we can create a toolpath on the right hand spindle for the multi axis and in this video we are going to show you that how we can create a very unique and special toolpath for that one area and that is going to be happening a fully multi axis toolpath again on a mill turn so where in this video you are going to learn that how we can create a toolpath on the left hand spindle how we can create a toolpath multi axis toolpath on the left hand spindle and what are the different options we need to control and where when some collisions are happening so how we can control these collisions so that's really really important that how we can avoid the collision that's you will we will show you we will teach you so now let we have to start to create the component so for creating that one component first thing we have to came in a surface and click on it and make just press ok so once I click and just press ok so there is a surface area is selected successfully after selection of the surface area I can I need to make this surface offset from this position so I have to click on offset just press it and ok make this offset approx 20 mm or I can say 25 mm and just say ok why because we need to create a curve to control that one portion with the help of as we do the pre previous multi axis toolpath so now we need to create a curve right at here uh, curve with the flow line just like this line now again we need to create a tool chain selection on this one area and this this one area and this now that's perfect so we no need this surface so we can delete this surface right at here and just press ok now let we have to see that how we can control this toolpath in a perfect and proper way now the next step to controlling this toolpath we have to create the toolpath that is a toolpath which we are going to create a unified toolpath and before we have to create the toolpath we need to define or we need to check the minimum size of tool which where we can play here so for that one purpose we need we came here and check the diameter of the area is 7 mm so we can use a 6 mm of ball nose tool so for that one purpose we are going in a mill place select on a unified and first thing that we need to choose a tool so for that one purpose I have to came in a filter and choose a 6 mm of ball nose tool I have to came in a holder setup and now after that I have to came in cut parameter in a setup always keep in mind when you are working on a multi axis you have to select the left side or a right side spindle where you want to work on machine and after that we have to came in a cut parameter in cut parameter the first thing we have to defining that is chain the second thing that you need to define that is then another one chain okay we need to define this chain again just click on is select the chain with the help of this one option so that is going to be selected from the first area to last area properly perfectly again this will be same the option which we are using in a unified that is a morph and now we have to define the area of part and the geometry after once selecting all these things I have to came on the next option that is known as a tool axis control for the tool axis control I have to came here we have to make tool axis control with the help of a chain for that one purpose I have to define the chain from this side to this side and just have to came in a collision control so in here collision control we need to define nothing so we just turn off it in a linking all parameters should be same and in utility I just turn it off for the study 
now have a look so that is the tool path that we defined and created successfully now have a look of this tool path the tool path is starting to perform from this one area to this one the tool path is perfectly but when the tool is tilting and came on this one position so definitely in that one point that accident will happen and that one position the head is going to be collide on the left hand spindle so we need to control this tool path till this point so for that one purpose we have to came in a parameter once we came in a parameter we have to came tool axis control limit the angles once i click on it so automatically new window is going to be open right at here and in a limit we need to make a limit from 0 to 90 degree so i have to click on a 90 and just press okay now have a look again let's see the tool path so as you can see the tool is not going to tilting more than the 90 so there will be no accident will happening on the left hand spindle so once i define the tool path for this one area after that i can rotate the tool path multiple times 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so i have to came in a parameter i have to select the utility the rotation against the x the 6th and the rotation angle should be 360 divided by 6 its per side is 60 degree and that's the perfect on the area so as you can see we are successfully created all these tool path simulations and everything was going to be perfectly well settled now i am going to show you a complete tool path simulation for the left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle and all the multi axis so for that one purpose i have to select all these things and just press g1 once i press on g1 so now as you can see here my one new window is going to opening and now we need to make a tool path synchronization so i have to play click on expand all once i click on expand all so the previous the tool path which i am going to show you with the left hand spindle was till the sixth after completing the sixth i have to move the operation that should be a seventh number after completing of the seventh number i have to make the tool path 8th after the 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th 13th 14th after completing the 14th again i have to came on the tool path number 15 after the 15th i have to came on the 16 will happen and after the 16th i have to move it to the 17 after completing of the 17 and 18 the tool path is going to came on the 19 for the grooving and after completing of the 19 my last and final more tool path will going to be play So that's all about the tool path synchronization. If you want to see the simulation of that one part, you have to click on a launch, and if you want to make ANC output, you have to click on a post. Now let we have to launch and check the simulation of that one component with the help of different number of operation as well as the multi-axis tool path. Now, ladies and gentlemen, have a look of that one area or that one part. Let we have to play the simulation. so we can complete the simulation quickly let we increase the feed or we can say speeds of simulation little bit high so as you can see here this is facing operation after the face uh, milling mod milling operations like as outside the internal area and now the next tool path is multi axis for running the multi axis i make a little speed less now have a look the multi axis tool path is happening successfully and it's create a profile as per the needed as per the model as per the part so that's the beauty of multi axis that angle will working simultaneously the right hand check will working simultaneously and all these things working together in a simultaneously that's really amazing work if you get a chance to check out these things real working on a machine so you will get impressed a lot and that's really really amazing when we are talking about the milton module so now let we have to increase the speed little high again now after completing of the all the multi axis operations on the right hand spindle my next part handling process will start to perform now as you can see here my part handling process successfully done after completing of this now my left hand face and now as you can see here my from with the help of upper stream or upper milling head i am going to create a different number of tool path first the turning tool path after completing of the turning tool path with the same tool we are going to tilt this tool path a angle have a look a angle is going to be tilting 
and after that a angle tilting of the a angle we are going to create the tool path for this one area have a look that's the beauty of Milton no need to make a multi call the multiple tools you have a tool one single tool can make a multiple work and that's the really good and beautiful work of Milton after completing of it I am going to show you or create a tool path with the help of grooving operation to make the finishing of this one area and after that now ladies and gentlemen one of the most unique and beautiful tool path and that's a multi access to complete that part in a last stage now have a look have the beauty of the multi mill done when we are playing a multi axis kind of part now have a look if we don't modify the tool path for the left side so definitely it will going to be collide on the left hand side but we make the changes and now that's successfully happening this is the part this is the machine this is the tool all are working in a perfect way all are working in a proper way after completing on the one pass it's going to be moved for the second pass and that is step by step happening for the first area, second area, third area, fourth area, fifth area as well as the sixth area. So that's we successfully created a complete part with the help of different number of operations in a mill turn. So thank you so much for watching this one video. Once again, I would like to suggest you keep learning, keep growing.